All right, this one's gonna be on W3M's um, hinting mode. I made a little bit of improvements on it, you know. So we'll open a website here. We'll do uh, the link subreddit. And if you don't know what hinting mode is, uh, if you ever use a Vimium, right? Let me give you an example here. So you have a Vimium plugin or something like that. Uh, you can hit like F and you see how all these letters pop up and you can actually go to, you know, that URL, right? If I do SL here, open that. Um, so, you know, same thing, but we're going to do it in, um, W3M here, uh, in W3M, it does not have letters. It can only do, um, numbers. So I'm sure example here, if I do F space here, that's how I toggle the numbers on. And you see all of them have like little numbers in brackets here, right? One, two, three, so on and so forth, whatever link do you have on? So I map mine to, uh, F and space here. All right. F space and let me show you the bindings here. All right, so we have F space to um, toggle it on, uh, hinting mode. FF is kind of like jumping to that link, kind of like uh, what you do in Vim where you do GG. And some of these other ones to yank, uh, open a new tab, stuff like that. So I'll explain in a minute here. And the reason why I like doing this way as opposed to the other way where you just have it on all the time, it doesn't look pretty. You know, you have the numbers next to it and after looking at it for a long time, it just looks uh, ugly. Uh, so I like it to have like the original page without any numbers and kind of like in, you know, Vimium, whenever you need it on, you hit the hotkey and it'll pop up all the, uh, you know, uh, anchors to it so you can actually jump to it or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do uh, for our W3M. So whenever you need to use it, you do F space and now you have it on, right? And now if I want to jump to, um, you know, that number, let's say if I want to jump to uh, 18 here. So I do 18, what's that, FF, it'll jump to it, right? And normally if you want to uh, go to it, you hit enter and it'll go to that, uh, you know, page, right? Uh, otherwise, if you want to do, let's say, for example, I do space, we jump to uh, 22 FF, right? We jump to it and we're not going to hit enter this time. We're going to use uh, FT and this will open a new tab. So now you can see that we have our original tab here, uh, which is our command line subreddit. And this is the page that it opens on the second tab, right? So we can do, you know, open a new tab, right? What else can we do? Uh, if you want to yank the URL, obviously you can use YY that we mapped uh, a while back. And you can see that I can do paste it. But uh, if I want to do it with the, um, you know, using the hinting mode, I can do uh, F space and I can do, let's say I wanted to yank uh, 14 here, right? I can do 14 FY and I'll yank it to my clipboard. And I can paste it now, right? So I have space, and I wanted to hit uh, was at 26, and then we'll do FY, uh, and I'll yank that to our clipboard. And you can see that uh, we can paste it here really quick, all right? So that's how you would yank URLs just using the hinting mode. Now, if you want to like automatically jump and then open it. Um, as opposed to just jumping that we did before to the uh, numbers only, this one will actually go to the page either in the current link or like a new tab, right? So I'll show you both here. For example, if I do F space here and I want to uh, open this one here, this link here, uh, let's say 45 here in a new tab, right? I'll do 45. F and an N for a new tab, and you see that opens it in a new tab here really quick, All right? Uh, if I wanted to not open a new tab, I can just go. What was that one here? F space. I do 41. Is that F O? And I'll actually go to that page instead of opening a new tab. So, however you want to do it, um, that's what we got here. Anyways, I kind of like this uh, better than my old setup where I just had it on all the time and it always looks, uh, you know, not great because uh, I want to see the page as it is uh, rendered. 
but every time um, I want to use this thing, you know, I would have to enable it and then uh, I have to remember to disable it. But when we run our commands uh, or our hotkeys, it will automatically do that um, by itself, right? So if I want to jump to, you know, let's say, what was it, uh, 30? And I do FF. And from there, I can do either hit enter or FT and open a new one. Or if I want to yank a, a URL, I can do that really quick too, right? Anyways, that's uh, what I got for our uh, mappings here. Real simple. Now, as far as um, yanking the URLs, uh, this one will use like all the clipboards. So it'll use Excel, if you're on Linux or BSD, they, I think they use the same program. Um, if you're on Windows, I would use like WL Copy. They also have like Clip. If you're on Tmux, it will copy to your you know Tmux clipboard. If you're on Mac, it will you know copy using PB Copy, stuff like that. If you're on Android, it will use uh, Termix uh, clipboard set to copy the URL. So I put it all in there, um, you know, with one hotkey. Uh, what else is there to explain? Pretty much it, and that's what I've been using. I guess I'd say is a, you know, a much better improvement than uh, the, the old way that I did it. And so, if you want to use it, same thing. Uh, I'll post you in the description of how you would set it up. And basically, we're using F as our modifier key, so we do like a two button combo or a two uh, key press combo. And you know, you do F space F F, and so on and so forth. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, that'll be it for this one.